So no position on a national ban, which conservatives wanted to hear. After Trump's announcement, Republican Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina telling reporters that former president was, quote, making a mistake and that he, quote, <coughs> respectfully disagrees with Trump's assertion that abortion is a state's rights issue. In response to that, Donald Trump unloaded on his old buddy Lindsey Graham. In one post, he wrote, I blame myself for Lindsey Graham because the oh only reason God. he won in the great state of South Carolina is because I endorsed him. In another post, Trump wrote, Senator Lindsey Graham should spend more time focusing on all the many people being killed because of our now non-existent border and the millions of people dying in senseless, never-ending wars that he constantly favors and promotes, adding... Great job, Lindsay. There it is. <laughs> so, uh, do we need to keep reading these? I think we get the idea, right, Jonathan I, Lemire? So, yeah, we're good. I guess the question is, what's the over-under a number of days that Lindsey Graham rushes to Mar-a-Lago to apologize? He's at a boarding gate at DCA right now for the next <laughs> flight to West Palm <laughs> Beach. Uh, um, yeah, this is, I mean, they have clashed occasionally on foreign policy issues. Um, and Trump does have this hold on Lindsey Graham, where every once in a while he just whacks him. Um, and that's what's happening, uh, certainly, here. Um, but the, the, but the grand thing is interesting in a way that it does reflect, and we heard from Mike Pence as well, uh, from some Republicans, some real conservatives who really believe in the pro-life movement who want this national ban and who were disappointed by Donald Trump. What Donald Trump did yesterday seemed to anger everyone. And you could tell, as so awesome, the, the tell for Donald Trump these days is Truth Social. And as the day went on, his posts got more and more angry and more and more incoherent. And Lindsey Graham took the brunt of them because it was clear, and aides later sort of confirmed this to, to a few of us, that he didn't like how yesterday went. That that video he thought didn't land well. He was getting heat from all sides. The Biden ad, in particular, that young woman in Texas, Molly, uh, was very, very powerful. Uh, the caption there, and if those listening on the radio couldn't see it, it read, Donald Trump did this. Yeah. That's going to resonate with voters. Uh, but they're and not, and look, they're pro life Republicans. They're not going to suddenly vote for Joe Biden. But if enough of them are angered that they might stay home or seek another venue, that's interesting. Well, Trump, I think Trump feels he has those evangelical voters in the bag and that they're not going to go vote for Biden. And look, he did, he installed these justices who are still looking at abortion. I mean, the idea that they have two cases right now in the Supreme Court again, and they had said they weren't going to keep going on abortion. And we see very clearly they're going on abortion. And we see these Republicans, you know, talking about birth control pills, coming for birth control pills. I mean, this uh, far-right contingent, these evangelicals are not satiated. They want more. No. And if Trump wants to give them more, mm -hmm. he's going to alienate all the swing voters. So he's really painted himself into a corner. So hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.